Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with Paul Corruption. And over here, I have a very powerful one minute strategy to share with you guys. Um, this strategy works great with a regular market. So we're not doing this with AutoSafe. It's actually a regular market strategy. I'm um, over here. We're making use of our three indicators. I'm making use of two moving average, one parabolic SAR and I'm one um, stochastic oscillator and this is the setup of the indicator my first moving average comes with a period of four the moving average is EMA on the star part here I make use of this particular color and of course I take my line to be on two pixels so that's pretty much all you have to do so when you're done you hit save my second moving average comes with a period of 17 and the moving average is EMA on the star part here I make use of white color and of course I take my line to be on two pixels so that's pretty much it. So when you're done, you hit set. Um, my parabolic S R comes with um acceleration of 0.028. The maximum acceleration comes with 0.28 as well. On the style spot here, I make use of this particular color, and that's it. So when you're done, you hit set. The last indicator I make use of is a stochastic oscillator with the K period of 16, the D period is 3, and the smoothing is 3, and the moving average is EMA. On the styles part here, I make use of this color combination and of course I take all the lines to be on 2 pixel. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So when you're done, you hit set. And this strategy is a one minute strategy and of course I'm making use of um, Heineke Ashi Candy Stake and 30 second Candy Time Frame. Um, how this strategy works, it's a very simple um, strategy which I'm going to um, explain in details when I enter a trade. But right now we're putting on the best coin CPA up like I said. This only works better on a regular market. I don't use it with Autosy, so make sure you're using this on a regular market. All right. So I'm putting up my currency up here up now, analyzing the market. And when I get a good moment, I'm going to come down and enter a trade. And of course, I'm going to show you in details what you need to see with your indicator before you enter a trade. All right. Okay, guys, over here, I'm actually checking out a moment out here, but I haven't really get a strong confirmation I need. But let me use this particular part for an explanation before I enter a trade. Okay, this is actually a very good moment. And before you actually enter a trade with this strategy, the number one thing is to make sure that you have a confirmation of your parabolic SAR. Make sure that you have a very strong confirmation of your parabolic SAR and it must be below the candlestick you are placing your trade on. The second thing is to make sure that there is intersection with your both moving average. All right, make sure that the two line intersect each other and the boot line is also confirming a very strong confirmation of an uptrend. This is actually a very perfect moment. This is where we're going to enter our trade because this candlestick is more um, strong than the rest three candlesticks that have been generated. So when you have this kind of position, make sure you enter the trade. With our stochastic oscillator over here, you also need to have a stochastic oscillator coming right from the oversold condition until it touches this line right here all right is that it actually touches or actually out of the line but make sure that you have it in a very strong overbought condition let the intersection happen in the oversold part here but make sure the line is actually giving you a very strong confirmation this is actually a very perfect moment and right now i'm going to enter this trade for one minute another important thing is to make sure that the candlestick you're placing your trade on is very strong so make sure that this candlestick are very strong and they are very stable. The intersection of both moving average must happen and the boot line must be giving you a very strong confirmation of an uptrend. There's something applicable with your parabolic SAR. Make sure that the dot mark is actually giving you a very strong confirmation and they must be below the candlestick. The same thing applicable with your stochastic oscillator. Have it intersect right here in the oversold condition and the boot line is to be giving you a very powerful confirmation of an uptrend. I hope you understand, guys. All right. Everyone is right on the money on that. Um, I'll be analyzing now again. So when I get a good moment, I'm going to explain in details what you need to see before you enter the trade, especially for a down trade. All right. Okay, guys. Over here, I'm actually getting another good moment for an up trade. So let me enter this trade um, real quick. You can see right here, this is actually a very perfect condition. We have our bottom line of our stochastic oscillator intersect in a very strong oversold condition. And the bottom line is giving us a very powerful 
I'm uptrend. I'm the same thing applicable with our board moving array. The intersection happened in this position, and you can see a very strong confirmation of uptrend. And of course, I have the confirmation of my parabolic SCR dot right there. So this is another good moment. So that's the reason why I enter the trade. Another reason why I enter the trade is the fact that you can see the candlestick right there. This is a very strong, powerful candlestick. So guys, let's wait and see if this is gonna be a good one. All right, a good one there, guys. And the money on that is a very powerful one. So guys, I hope you actually understand how this work. Let's keep analyzing. Um, okay, guys, over here I'm finding a very good moment for a down trade. Let me enter this trade um real quick before I explain. Um, anytime you're going for a down trade, you must have this perfect condition. So let me grab this particular part so that I can explain uh in the details. So anytime you're going for a downtrend, the number one thing is to make sure that you have a very strong confirmation of a downtrend with your parabolic SAR, and not only that, you must have it above the candlestick. The intersection of your board moving average must happen also giving you a confirmation of a downtrend and right here you must have your uh, boat line of your stochastic oscillator intersect in an overbought condition and the boat line must be giving you a confirmation of a very strong downtrend and not only that make sure that you have the boat line which is the downline of your parabolic SAR all right so let's see if you're in the money okay good one there guys we're in the money on that all right let's keep analyzing guys okay guys over here i'm finding a good moment we don't trade. Let me enter this trade um real quick. As you can see, a very perfect um downtrend right there with our um stochastic oscillator. The bot line intersect um in a very strong over bot condition, and they actually went down very good right here. If you check my moving average, you see that the bot moving average intersect in this position, and the bot line is actually giving me a very strong confirmation of a downtrend. The same thing applicable with my parabolic SCR. This is a very powerful one, so that's the reason why I enter the trade. So guys, you should also put in mind that I used to check my um, candlestick before I place the trade. Only make sure you enter the trade when you have a very strong candlestick. I hope you understand. Good one there guys, we end the money on that. So that is why I'm going to stop with the next video. Please make sure that you try this strategy out on your demo account and let me know how it works. It's a very powerful strategy. I've been using it for over two weeks now before I make this video. It's a very, very powerful strategy. Just make sure that you follow all the guidelines I laid down on this video. The most important thing is to make sure that the bot line of your stochastic oscillator is actually giving you a very strong downtrade. Make sure that you are touching the downline anytime you're going um, for a downtrade or they are touching the, um, the upper line here, which is the green line anytime you are going for an uptrade. Also make sure that the intersection of your bot moving average happened before you enter a trade and also confirm a very strong trend with your parabolic SAR before you enter a trade. All right, so if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.